Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. You'll find me at sarahwiseman.com. Manifesting money. So we used to think back in Napoleon Hill or Law of Attraction or the secret days, we used to think that if we said positive affirmations or if we manifested clearly in our attention, money or abundance would flow. So the first thing, let's, let's, let's do some semantics here. The first thing is, as you will know, money and abundance are very different. Manifesting money is about having more zeros in the bank or pieces of paper in a drawer. Manifesting abundance is about having more than enough of what you need. A place to live, food to eat, clothing to wear, the things that you require. And so we somehow think like it, it's more spiritual to manifest abundance, you know, instead of using the, the M word, the money word, except for it's really not. It's just the same. It's this fear of lack manifest with different words. So for most of us, it takes a bottoming out of lack. Like we have experience, like we grow up poor, or we live in poverty for a long time, or we lose everything, or we are crushed by debt and trying to claw our way out, or we lose our job. All of these experiences where we lose everything teach us that we don't really lose everything. Even if everything is taken away, we still have our life force And I don't say this lightly, I understand that in many places of the world it's incredibly difficult situations, incredible poverty. But for uh, people who might be listening, who might be uh, Western society, who might have a lot of uh, standard of living that's very blessed, I want to say when when we lose everything, we don't always really lose everything. Our essence is here. Our soul self is here. Our body is here. And so when you have had these experiences of kind of bottoming out with money, when you come to a place of true manifesting where you learn how to create what you need, And you learn how to do this finally because you lose your fear of lack. You experience lack and you realize you're still there. And suddenly this just breaks through the fear. And it becomes another dimension of thought that creates a whole different existence. So if you're broke or you're fearful about being broke, don't just try to grasp more money or, 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 or sugarcoat it by saying you're trying to become more abundant. Just look at your fear. Look at your whole relationship to money and lack and trust in the universe. And start there and shine light on it. I know for me, after a period of extraordinary extraordinarily uh, difficult lack of money (laughs) Uh, during many years of my life. Um, I just got over, I just got over the worry. I released the worry of money. And from the day I released the worry of money, uh, there has always been enough, maybe not enough that my mind wanted, but there's always been enough Look at this idea of fear and worry and lack and start seeing if you can let go of those feelings and trust just as the universe 
has provided for you in all ways, bringing everything to you perfectly and in perfect time, that this peace is also provided for. I'm Sarah Wiseman, and you'll find me at sarahwiseman.com.